Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my shop. We got a little bit of a blacksmithing project going on. I have been reading a book called The Backyard Blacksmith by Lorelei Sims. And it's a very good book if you're just learning blacksmithing. Just trying to learn anyway. And one of the things that she made and uses is called she called a Pritchell plate. A small round hole in an anvil is called the Pritcher hole and it's used to punch through but it sometimes it's a little too big and maybe when you try to punch a hole through a piece of metal it'll kind of flare out on the bottom side down into the hole. So she made a plate like this and drilled a quarter, five sixteenths, three eighths, seven sixteenths and a half inch hole in it so it accommodates each different size of the punches she might need. Well I uh, had some scrap and uh, burnt some of these out at work the other day and I, I put a hole in it to hang it by out there by my anvil and forge and I've marked one off I have it in my drill press this is not something that has to be machinist down to the thousandths accurate uh, I've got my vise reasonably level. I've got some big uh, parallels in here to hold to, to, to support my uh, plate here. I've got my dead blow hammer. I've tapped it down to make sure both my parallels are good and tight. And I've got a quarter inch drill bit in, and I'm going to drill my quarter inch hole. And I'm not going to use a center drill or anything like that, I'll just ease into it. Like I said, this isn't uh, down to the thousands here on the accuracy. This is the quarter inch hole. reason as I'm drilling I'll drill a little ways and then I'll let up and then I'll drill some more it's kind of like bumping the hole in that way I don't get those real long pieces of uh, clay that comes out of the hole it'll be shorter pieces and they don't swing around and get all dangerous on you let me move you in closer so you can see what I'm doing Okay, I just finished drilling this uh, quarter inch hole, and while I'm still lined up right on that hole, I'm going to come in here and take this drill bit out. And then I'm going to slip in a chamfering bit. Of that hole just a little bit. Now let's get lined up on the next hole. I don't know if you can see it but I've got them marked and this in here I want 5 sixteenths. So I will put my 5 sixteenths bit in. Loosen the table here and swing over. Loosen my vise. Like I said, this is just ballparking it. I just want to try to make sure my holes are running as straight through as I can get them. So I will, once again, Tap it down to make sure. See that's still loose over here.
There we go. I'll lock that back in place. Start bumping my way through. See how those would get really long and they start flying all over the place and throwing everything. The use of a little cutting oil goes a long ways towards getting yourself some nice holes. This uh, plate that I'm drilling is half inch thick. Try to keep as much of it from going on the floor as possible. Now we'll switch back to that chamfering bit, which isn't exactly sharp. I tried to sharpen it, I, I got some more to learn on that. But we're getting the job done. carried away on that one. Okay, let me go ahead and finish up the, the other three holes, which will be... Wipe my numbers off. 3 8 7 16 and half. Be right back. There we go. All five holes drilled and chamfered on the top side. Let's flip it over and clean up the bottom side. Just a little bit out of reach. go. Project done. Thanks for watching. I don't know if I mentioned earlier it's Christmas Eve. Had the day off. Playing in the shop. My wife had to work. And I hope you all have a happy Christmas or a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, I probably will have another video or two out before the new year comes around. Thanks for watching.